begin, press Enter Menu to open the Options menu. Press 2 for System Settings. Unless you plan to use pressures from both the dorsalis pedis and the posterior tibia for determining the ABI, make sure that dual ankle pressure is off by pressing 5 until the setting is off. Press Enter Menu to exit System Settings. Press Enter Menu to open the Options menu again and press 1 to configure the examination. Press 2 to select ABI with Doppler waveform. Wrap a cuff at each arm and ankle to prepare for the exam. Use the appropriate size cuffs based on the circumference of the limbs. Start at the right brachial artery site and connect the hose to the cuff. Apply gel to the right brachial artery site and use the Doppler probe to listen to the blood flow. While holding the probe steady on the artery, press and hold pump to about 20 millimeters of mercury above the occlusion pressure. Release pump and the cuff will automatically start to deflate. Press save when you hear the first pulsation return. If you were late pressing save, adjust the pressure reading by using the up or down key as shown. Press save to record the systolic pressure and the marker will move to the next protocol location. Now we'll obtain a Doppler waveform. Move the hose to the right ankle cuff. Apply gel to the posterior tibial artery and use the Doppler probe to listen to the blood flow. Once the desired waveform is obtained, press freeze. Here you have two options. If the waveform is acceptable, press save to record it. Or use the up or down key to scroll to the optimum waveform, then press save to record it. Press save again to move to the next protocol location. Next, we'll obtain the ankle pressure using the Doppler probe. While holding the probe steady on the artery, press and hold pump to about 20 millimeters of mercury above the occlusion pressure. Release pump and the cuff will automatically start to deflate. When you hear the first pulsation return, press save and use the up or down key to adjust the pressure reading if needed. Press save to record the systolic pressure and the marker will move to the next protocol location. Move the hose to the cuff at the left ankle and obtain the waveform as was demonstrated for the right ankle. After saving, the marker will move to the next protocol location for obtaining the left ankle pressure. After obtaining and saving the left ankle pressure, the marker will move to the last location, the left brachial. Switch the hose to the cuff at the left brachial and obtain the pressure. After saving the pressure, the marker will move back to the right brachial location. At the end of the exam, the ABI results are calculated automatically. After completing the exam, press print and apply the adhesive backed labels with the exam results onto the report form. or save the exam to one of the 10 storage locations as explained in the file management section of this video.